guys, I'm coming to you today to show you how I take care of my hair, um, my straight hair, um, when I go to bed. Or show you the routine that I do for my straight hair when I get ready to go to bed. I don't know why my camera is so... Let's see if I can get through that. Yep, there we go. So, here's my hair here. There's a little poofy here. I was sweating right around the edges, which that's fine for me because I can either pin it down like that or just put a little cute little um, bobby pin there. So but anyway, here it is. And let's do a left check so you can see how long it is. If you can see here. So that's what the back look like. And then the front here, here's my front piece, it's about here. And then this side, it's about here. So, anyway, here's my hair. I like to have it parted on this side when I have it straight. So what I do, I come home and I just came from the gym. So, and I um, already had my shower. So I'm getting ready to just, just comb some of the knots out with my wide tooth comb. Cause it's just a little tangly on the ends the ends look like I might have sweated them out just a little bit I can feel them like right along in here that's fine I just keep on rolling with it I don't like to put any heat on my hair once I get my hair sh straightened for the week that's it I do not put any more heat on my hair for about hopefully it lasts about two weeks I'm gonna try and stretch it to three do some cute little styles or so but yeah we will see so anyway there's my hair there <laughs> excuse me so what I like to do let's see for the couple of like every other day I'll take my argon oil and squirt some in my hands just a little two squirts from my fingertips and I like to go in and massage my scalp. I just massage my scalp for. And sometimes I may just flip my head over. Upside down. I don't know if you can see. There we go. I'm just massaging my scalp. back up and that's it that's what I do put the rest here and the rest here there we go so that's what I usually do there okay and then I'll comb it out one more time I don't do too much to it And I usually take it and like part it like cross where the ear is, the ear part. And then I'll take this section here and then just like pin curl it. It's like a like a pin curl. There it is there. And if I say, and then I take my bobby pin. And there and I take a bobby pin and put here so if I sweat it won't be on the hair so yep. that's where it is and I do the other side the same way part it with my finger to my ear or a little bit more past my ear behind my ear like behind the ear And just going to detangle it. And what I do, do the same thing here. Get this back. Here. And then just flip it up. 
and swirl it. Just like that. I don't know if you saw that. Let me do it again. It's a pink curl hair. Grabbing the hair like this. Here. For a minute. <laughs> Sorry. Here and flip up. And then take the whole thing and just swirl it. Just like that. Take my bobby pin and that part in there. If I need another bobby pin, let me grab a bobby pin. I have one right here in my little cup. Whoop. And put the other bobby pin there. So it's like two little bobby pins there. And then the back here back and I will just divide that into half like that let's see and what I'm going to do is finger roll finger roll it take the end and then just roll it roll it and you can either use your bobby pin or the duck clips. And I'm just going to stick it right here. And it holds up there. I'm going to put one on the other side too. Just like that. And then we'll do the same thing with the other side. In. Oops. Ugh. And flip it and roll it just like that. And then what I do, take another duck clip and slide there. And I don't have a bobby pin because I don't have any more. I got the bobby pin. So that's what the back looks like. And then here. So that's what I do to reserve my hair. And then this little spot here, like I said, it's did get I did sweat it a little bit I just take another bobby pin and I don't know where my other comb is I think my child took my comb but I just push this little piece here off my face and bobby pin here Like that see and then I won't be sweating once I put my um I'll put my scarf on so and that's all I do let's see I usually use the my little half my half scarf this is the half scarf here like that and I don't know I got this from the uh, uh let's see the beauty supply store it might have been like two three dollars and I just put it up like that. Make sure everything's secured. And then just tie it like that. And that is my night night time routine. Now, when I get ready to go to bed, I still also sleep on my satin pillowcase because just in case the scarf slides off, um, it usually stay on, but sometimes if I can be wild, <laughs> I can sleep wild in a bed and it might just slide off or so, but no, it pretty much stay on, but that is my night type, my night routine for my straight hair. 
So um, what I'll do, I'll come to you in the morning just to show you how I take it down and what I do in the morning. Alrighty, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, have a good night. Good morning, good morning. I'm coming to you now to show you how I just take down my hair from wrapping it last night. I showed you how I pin curled it and everything and this is what it looks like when I get up. My scarf did stay on. So um, this is now, I'm gonna take it down. I have my two bobby pins. Remember they were holding my hair back to keep me from, like when I was sweating or so, it wouldn't get on my hair, which it already did. That was earlier than the week, but I still pin it back anyway, because I don't like to put any more heat on my hair once I straighten my hair. I went to the salon, the lady, she straightened it. She clipped my ends really good. So I was so excited about that. So let's get this hair down and see what it looked like. I'm taking the back down, trying to find all my pins. That's what I'm doing now. Oops, there's one now. Okay. And here, I've got one clip here. It's all tangled, of course. Because, there we go, just take it out slowly, it's okay. Take it out slowly, see. That's what it falls down. And this is my front. Let's see, it just falls down. And then the side here, get that pin out. And it falls down that way. All my pins out. Yep, yep. So that's out there. And then what I do in the morning, I just put my chi oil. I just started using this and I love it. I love this chi oil. It's really light. It smells good. It has a good, nice little smell to it. Very light and all you need is a little bit, a little bit goes a long ways. And I usually just do that maybe about five times. That's it. Let's see, then rub my hands together. There. And then twist it. Get my ends. Look at that shine. Gives it a nice little shine there. And then I do a little bit more for the other side. So that's about four there. My hands together to start at the ends kind of get that back that was enough for the back too get my front and swirl it around and there it is And then I just put the rest at the top for those little flyaways. And there we are. That is how I do my straight hair. And this is what I've been doing, I guess, yeah, all week since I, it's been a week. This is my second week. So it's been a week and, um, yeah, it's been a week. I got my hair done that Saturday. So yeah, it's been a week and maybe about two two days or so and this is it so hopefully it will last throughout the week it is supposed to rain but I just put my scarf on I don't care if I look like grandma or so I put my scarf on or I'll just pin it up in a ponytail till I get where I'm going and then I'll take it down and shake it out so that's what I do anyway I just wanted to come to you and let you know how I serve my straight hair let me turn around so you can see the back the back and that's it and then it'll fall some more throughout the day will fall just a little bit more which that's fine with me so anyway you guys have a a lovely day lovely day if you're wondering where I get got this necklace little set from I got it from um it's called paparazzi and you can get all the jewelry you want for like five dollars 
So check it out. It's the um, paparazzi and um, yeah, great site. All um, all her jewelry is five dollars and it's good quality, really good quality. So that's what I've been buying <laughs> for the last couple of months was the paparazzi five dollar jewelry and it came with the earrings. This was a set. This whole little set was five dollars. The necklace and the earrings came together. Five dollars, yeah. All right, check it out, guys. All right, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.